Uh, what up, YouTube? Man, look at him. Started raining on us, so we had to stop it. But I got my saw, man. Look at him, man. I ordered some saw from some people, man, in Okeechobee from this farm. And they communication problem. Um, and these people was playing around with my money, man, like $5,000 um, for some saw that I wanted to deliver. That's what happened when you always try and get something a little bit cheaper. Um, they were going to sell me the saw for $120 a pallet. Um, I was going to get 40 pallets, then I was going to order another 40 pallets. Um, but I need a total of 80. Um, I made the payment. And then, yeah, for some reason, their bank wouldn't accept the payment, which was which was good. Oh, man, look, we got a problem. This guy done left the damn lights on the truck. I told him earlier about the lights on the truck. I know what happened. The battery did. This is what happened, though. Hey, what's going on? Your battery dead? Your battery dead? Yeah. Hey. I, what, what, what I, I said, man, hey, your lights on, man. All right, so got to give him a jump real quick. Hey, when you get in this business landscaping, each part of the issues you're going to deal with, especially you got a lot of trucks and stuff, man, you're going to deal with these type of issues, truck, battery, that's something simple though. But guess what? Look what time is from the door. It's raining. It's pouring down rain. Now the truck don't want to start. Every day, the truck crank up, no problem. But now because the day is raining and we ready to go, and guess what happened? Jeff has been running his lights all day for no reason. Don't need the lights on. We park somewhere safe while you got the lights on. And now your battery won't crank. You know, that could have been prevented. But, you know, I told him, hey, Jeffrey, your lights on. Oh, I thought I turned them off. But anyway. Back to this, you know, this landscaping lifestyle, ground maintenance, property preservation. But that's what I do. You know, that's how I make my living. And I got some semi trucks. Been out of prison for what? Since 2012, December. That's when I got to the halfway house. Um, I was home in six months. You know, home, you know, home confined with the little monitor on your leg. Started doing property preservation. That was my main bread and butter for about three, four years straight. That's what I was doing. Proper preservation, nothing else. Nothing else. Company probably was doing about $250,000, $300,000 a year. Just all proper preservation, nothing else. You know, and that's why I tell people that, yeah, you can make money with proper preservation, especially if you get with the right company or you build up your own clientele dealing with banks and stuff. You know, you can make some money telling you now but you know why I got kind of out of it um I stayed in it as long as the market was good the market switched it wasn't that much inventory remember the housing market went up so when the house housing market went up there's no inventory for the banks everything got sold so that's when the market went down and I had to cross over anyway because we had some little conflict within the company that we were doing business with um, they had brought a new manager in and this manager guy just so happened had some type of issue with our company and um, he came in and took the 130 maintenance properties that I had I had 130 maintenance properties did you do the math let's do it let's do it together all right so I had hold that call just for y'all I got um I had 130 maintenance properties right and I'm doing um times $32 that's what they were paying me that's $4,160 a week I was doing just off maintenance now, I, I got a small operation at the time it's me and like two other guys off maintenance alone I'm doing $4,000 
$160 a week off 130 in maintenance properties. Only making $32 each property if it's under an acre. If it's under an acre, the rate is $32. That was back then. Now it might be 40, it might be 50. I don't know what it is, but I'm saying back then it was $32. All right. Times four times in a week, in a month. I was doing $16,640 a month just off maintenance. Just cutting lawns. That's it. Just cutting lawns, man. Look, times 12. I'm doing almost 200000 just off lawn maintenance, cutting yards, residential properties, but I got 132 of them. I got volume, man. I got volume. That's what's killing them. I'm working now. We busting our ass now, getting, getting it now. You know what I'm saying? We doing what we doing. I got one crew going to do a spot, and I may go do another one, but we knocking them down. We got it all done in the week, because that was the goal, to get it all done in the week. We had to go far down. We had to go what? All the way to Bradenton. That's like 20 miles away from Tampa to go get that money. But guess what? We had to go get it. That's how we were eating. Then on top of that, we were doing the initial services. And not on top of the maintenance, you're getting also the cleaning aspect of it. The cleaning aspect of the maintenance. They was paying $45. $45 times 130. That's another $5,850 a month off the cleaning part of the maintenance, the refreshes. So this proper preservation we're paying, man. So I'm just telling y'all, you can make some money on it, but you got to have volume. Without the volume and nothing, you ain't going to be making no money. Huh? What's going on? Where did I hook this up at? You hook the positive up to the positive, and you hook the negative up to the negative. I can pull up a little bit more if you need me to. Yeah, I'm gonna let him deal with his own headache. That was his headache. I told him the light was on. Hey, Jeffrey, your light's on. Oh, I thought I caught him off. All right. All right. It's still on. Light's still on. And he's trying to jump the truck off. Let me see. Your light's still on, Jeffrey. Ready to go. I believe you got power. Let it, cut your lights off, man. Why your lights on? You may have another issue. I sound like a star or a cinnamon. Anyway, this is the project we're working on right here while that's going on. This is our insulation project. You guys can see it behind me. You see? Got all the side back though. So, I'll probably have to get back with y'all later, man. Got to figure out what's going on with this truck. And it's raining. You said do this sometime, Jeffrey? Yeah. You think this battery was dead or what? It's getting fired? Yeah, look, the thing ain't tight, bro. Look at this. You ain't going to get no... Look at this. I need to be tight. That's loose. It's loose. You can take that off with your hand. 